Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'll be doing a reading for Pisces today. Pisces, how are you guys? I hope everything is well. You're doing well. And um, yeah, let's do this reading for you. Pisces in love. For this reading, I'm using my very own tarot deck. So if you haven't um, checked out this deck, uh, I'll post the link in the description box. The Nomad Soul Warrior Tarot deck. You can get your very own copy uh, by ordering from my Etsy shop. Okay. Let's get started, Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. In love. The Queen of Wands. Nice. Seven of Swords. Ten of Swords. Death. Page of Pentacles. And the Moon. So someone is wondering about your Pisces, the High Priestess. You may not even be um, talking to this person right now, not expressing what you think, what you feel uh, towards the situation. And I feel like you are um, more focused on getting what you want, doing or, or moving forward into achieving what you want. So that goes to say that if you are in a situation that doesn't really work for you, I feel like you are dropping that off yeah, or, or turning your back at least for the time being yeah because i do see that you have all this energy to pursue what works for you yeah so this could apply in, in different aspects in your life for some of you you are in a mode of um or in a mood of just being out there you know spreading your wings showing the world what you've got yeah but in terms of what you think about the situation um, or your situation, you're not really speaking much about it. Yeah? You're not expressing anything. It's like people see what you do, but they don't really know your intention. Yeah. But let's see. Let's clarify this card, Spices. That's what I get. Wow, this is pretty different from the usual... Pisces reading we've had. Yeah, Empress and the Devil. I feel like you are more open to um, all positivity, abundance. Yeah, you're, you're, you're wanting to pursue things that work, for you, that work for you. And you know that a part of you, a part, uh, an aspect in your life probably is stuck somewhere, Pisces. Perhaps you're dealing with a situation, with a person whereby... You want things to work. If it is in a relationship, you want them to continue being reciprocal towards you, but you're not getting that. Hence, you're just um, dropping it off for now or, or turning your back on it for now. And more, uh, you're focusing more towards what's good, yeah? what's abundant, what's abundant for you, what's readily available to you, which, could, which is a good um, energy. Because the more you open yourself up to beautiful things, to um, having that sense of abundance in life, the more you will see that um, the universe gives back. Yeah, but if you're com coming from from a um, a mentality of you don't have this, you don't have this person, this person doesn't want you, all the more that you will be craving for it because you don't have it. The Pisces, the, the energy that I'm seeing right now is more about someone who knows that, well, there are aspects in your life, relationships that may not work, but there could be other aspects in your life that works. And you are more um, in tune to stepping forward, moving towards the direction of, you know, the path where you feel abundant. Yeah, you don't focus on things that are not there. Okay, that are not there in your life, which is good. Let's see, Seven of Swords. Who are we dealing with, Pisces? 
Okay, it seems like you are dealing with someone who um, may not be very honest towards their intention. Um, somebody who tends to um, perhaps run away when the going gets rough or the going gets tough. But at the same time, this is someone who is sort of waiting for some things to happen in their life. Someone who is in the mood of waiting. Whether it be waiting for you or waiting for things to happen in, in their life. But somebody who has all the intentions but may not be up and up in terms of taking steps, taking action, yeah, to get to where they want to be. Somebody who has full of intentions but not much action, yeah. And why is that? Let us see. Why is that? You have the Ten of Swords here. So something is telling me that something may have, oh, something may have bugged down or something. Okay. We have the Queen of Swords. So um, it appears like there could have been an ending in their life, ending of a situation, ending of um, a difficult phase in their life. Yeah. Whatever that is, that is an ending. So it couldn't get worse than that, right? It's an ending. It's ended. Yeah, and I feel like um, perhaps this person is uh, or someone, someone in this situation, either you are or them, someone here after an ending, after a separation, after some form of betrayal for some of you, uh, somebody who is stuck on stuck in the sense that after an ending you don't know what to do yeah where to go who to approach who to smile to you know that sort of thing and it feels like you are feeling emotionally empty inside there's nothing you could give there's nothing you could share because deep inside it's empty especially after an ending after a breakup what else can you give right you can give out tears for some or bitterness for some 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 people when they become bitter they try to be emotionally detaching yeah from a situation not really minding it trying to make it their last priority so someone here is actually um experiencing some sort of ending and at a point of not really knowing where to go next what to do next and the easiest way to do is to detach and just have that mentality of you don't care for now. <laughs> um, I feel like someone also wanted to reach out to you, to talk to you. But they know that when they reach out to or talk to you, they need to bring in some guns. They need to bring in some good guns. Yeah, Not the gun that could kill someone. But somebody who could probably bring in some explanation uh of why for some of you if if there was an ending here and this person has let go then if they want to talk to you they need to give you some reasons right or they need to give you some form of enjoyment yeah to keep you entertained or why would you be talking to them right now yeah but it's a very big um indication that there was a stop an ending of a situation so it could be a situation between the two of you or when this person left the situation with you or separated from you they went on their own way and apart from you pisces they have had rough times yeah but that too i feel has ended and therefore this person is showing up again but still bringing this energy of the end, yeah, the end of their situation. But let's find out, yeah. So it's it's strongly. I'm I'm getting here that somebody wants to keep things going from where they have left off. Yeah, that's the end. That, that's the energy I am getting. They want to get your attention. They want to be more in talking terms with you. Um, but somebody to who could be lacking confidence to step up for now 
especially if they have left you, especially if they have ignored you and they went on their own way and you did your own way, being abundant on your own. Th there's someone here who is trying to gain more courage, yeah, to step up, to transform what has died down in the past. Yeah, so it's it's basically somebody who wants to pick up where they have left off. Yeah. Yeah, and you will definitely Okay, we have the star here. You will definitely I feel like you will hear from this person. Someone will message you, someone will give you um something to get your attention. Yeah, someone will give you something. It could be a call, a text, or knocking at your door, sending you gifts a little bit, or maybe just a card to say, hey, Pisces, how are you? <laughs> but there is a... This person knows that with you, they feel um, stable. Yeah, if it is a relationship or a... a connection that they are looking for the connection they have with you is something stable so the situation that may have ended recently with them is something that was not stable in the first place and this person may have you know uh blame them themselves yeah blame themselves for not really looking out for you yeah they have blamed themselves for stepping out yeah and yet they're still wishing that when they come back or this time when they come back they will still find their way back to you or that you would still give them hope you would still give them the chance yeah so for some of you pisces i feel like you are good you are doing well on your own perhaps you are even um more successful than ever yeah, so you might just talk to this person. Hey, how are you? How's the weather right there? Are you good? Are you okay? Okay, thanks. Bye. You might even be doing just that. Seems like you wouldn't need this person anymore in your life. But for those of you who are keen in knowing, hearing about this person, yeah, I feel like you will hear from them. But this person wants to get your attention, wants to win you back, wants to pick up the pieces, and wants to... Um, pick up where they left off yeah that's a very strong like a repetitive message i am getting here yeah they want to talk to you it's something that um yeah if this was a person who did not really want to take action in the past towards you did not make any call or any decision yeah towards the situation i feel like they have been showered with enlightenment that this time they want to talk they want to be straightforward with their intention. And that intention comes with uh, the desire to put in some effort because they know that this situation with you is something that is abundant and something that they want to have in their life. Yeah, You have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Swords here. So somebody wants to talk and somebody wants to tell you that they value this connection. Yeah, for some of you who are not here for love readings, I feel like there is an opportunity that will be presented to you that will give you more success. Yeah, if you're single, this one will give you more success, will bring you towards that um, speed, uh, speedy path to success. Yeah, and the moment that comes in, it will be pretty clear to you that um, this opportunity right here is something worth having at least in the next 10 years. So it could be a new business venture, uh, perhaps a partner that would come in, business partner who you could work with, or you get a new job where, you know, it may seem new, but you will find your way, yeah, on how to get to it, yeah, and to excel in it. Yeah, you have the capacity and the capability and the clarity, yeah, to pursue what that is. So it could be a new job. It could be, yeah, it's something long term that is being given to you. So in a relationship or with your connection, this is someone who is 
willing to talk things out and um, willing to tell you that, hey, Pisces, I value this, I value you, and let's get things moving. Yeah, they're taking a stand right now, listening to that trumpet, listening to that call and taking action, yeah, towards you, towards the situation. Okay, what else do we need to know here? <laughs> yeah, this person may have been confused. Hold on, fireworks. Okay, you might just have fun summer ahead, Pisces. This person may have realized that you are actually the one for them. Yeah. You had that chemistry back then. Yeah, but during the distance, somebody may have come into the picture, come in, someone else, you know and have created a cold, distant heart between the two of you. But nevertheless, um, if, not, if it's not that, this is someone who wasn't really opening up emotionally back then. Yeah, or even if they tried, it seems like they were not really successful in letting you feel that they tried. Yeah, for now, I feel like while this person is not reaching out to you just yet, for those of you who haven't heard, um, it could be that they are just, you know, contemplating right now through love songs, listening to love songs, you know, softening their hearts yeah, in order for them to, to have that courage again. Yeah, because the fact that this person is confused, there is some form of confusion here. Yeah, perhaps, you know, some lyrics in the love song, in the love songs can give someone some form of clarity. Yeah, in be getting in tune with their emotional self. Yeah, but someone here is still holding on. And you will get more fireworks, Pisces. Don't you want that? Summer is coming, so I, I hope you'll have more fun. All right? Be well, Pisces, and uh, talk to you soon.